life All this doubt around me, damn look, I got it right Don't you try to hit me, now you live a petty life All those nights I laid awake, I pray for better life Now I wake up with a baddie like I said I might This a better life, you never try, I bet it right This a better life, you never try, I bet it right You been stuck just where you at because you never tried Want a better life, I had a tie, I bet it right Yeah, I just took a test and yeah, let me write I just took a test and yeah, I rolled the dice Yeah, women, I'll be bad because the folk was nice But yeah, I must admit that this ain't overnight Welcome back to Outdoor Habits. Today, I'm back out with my brother, DA hey, Bass. what's up guys? So, happy new year to you. Today, we're gonna be targeting whitefish, and David got me rigged up. So this is a, what is this, David? It's like a, a Widowmaker uh, five millimeter gold five tungsten, millimeter, okay. which is the crappie plastic. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is a yeah. drop shot style that David recommends here. Yeah, so this technique should be illegal, but it works so well, this, I recommend it. What is this, like a six? It's about like a foot, yeah. Uh, like a, a foot, foot? 11 inches, yeah. Basically, this is your your drop your weight. It's designed to call them in, and then your drop shot where you're gonna rig the wax worm on. So what, what size is it? Six or? Eight? Uh, yeah, it's a size six. Yes. Six. Mm -hmm. Put the uh, two waxy on, and then go from there. I got a special shout out to Get to Tackle. Uh, thank you for sending the uh, jigs. I never I never used it before. I'm excited to try it out and see if we can catch anything off of it, especially the whitefish. So I'm really excited to try this out and see what happens. Yeah, me and Dave, we were struggling uh, yesterday trying to find some wax worms. So yeah. luckily, Human Dixman got some wax worms. So shout out some, yeah. some right ones. Yeah. Shout out to you, Mike. Thank you for yeah. the wax worm, man. Okay. I got some butter worms, but Dave said it's too big. So <laughs> whoever lose, you got to eat those like raw. <laughs> Bruh. Basically, you're just going to simply wacky rig the, the wax worm, right? It. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just going to put on the hook like that. Dave recommends putting like two of them. Yes, sir. Dude, yeah. that looks delicious. Yeah, you first. <laughs> I do hold them in my mouth, right? Really. Yeah, that's basically it. If you want to come out here, have a good time for some white fish with your friends and family, mm -hmm. I say, why not? Like this, like this. No, no, go, 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 go like this. Yeah. Go like this. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, he's, he's by me. Oh, he's, he's, he's by me. Still there. There's two of them. Look. The hold is still. Watch. Oh, he hit it. <laughs> ah. David's on one, man. He's on me. He's on me. Then you hold it still. One, two, three, four. Hold it still. Oh, and he's gone. He came to my drop shot, dude. Yeah, it's weird. God. You see them, but like, they're not coming close to your drop I, shot. I don't think those are wall. I mean, I don't think those are whitefish. I think they're very interesting. They're coming up very spooky. Well, it seems like we're on some onto some walleye here early in the morning, but no commitment yet. I'm gonna keep trying. It'd be nice to catch a walleye. <laughs> yeah, all you need to do is bring the food in. John Rado said you get the food. <laughs> I got this big old dude on me. Oh, first, first fish of the day, guys. <laughs> That's a nice one, dude. That's pretty yeah. big. You see how those are white fish? He yeah. came up, he showed yeah. up, and he grabbed it. There's another one up. Drop, drop. They stuck around, you know? Yeah, there's another one down there. Beautiful. What a nice sucker. <sighs> yeah, that's a, that's a white fish, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, first fish of the game. All right, guys, we are on. Oh, oh, not bad, not bad. A nice one. All right, first fish of the day. Oh, that was stressful. <sighs> we had a whole school on us. Uh, I'm yeah, like, bro, dude. what is he gonna awesome eat? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bro. My first white fish of the day. Not a big one, not a giant. Me and David, we switch up to. Uh, deeper water and found some good ones now. So I think this one came from a school, right, David? Mm -hmm. Off the waxy, off the drop shot. Good Dude, job. I love white fishing. Yeah, thanks, man. Sweet. I just love it when like you get them on the hook and then you feel that weight. Man, it's it's really fun, man. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Definitely love ice fishing, dude. We got a fish. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, popped off. It's a big one. Jeez. Oh, Well, it's 12.40 and the bite is definitely tough. I uh, missed a couple, David caught a few more, but it's been really, really slow. We we're able to raise a few, but I broke up a few. I'm just fortunate to have my brother David to kind of show me around and help me out and teach me the ways of the white fish. And I've been using the get to tackle jigs. Where I'm fishing, it's like 13 feet and the here jig is just not heavy enough to uh, go down there and make the noise that's needed to 
drawing the fish. So uh, we're using like five millimeter tungsten jig head, gold jig head. And so we're able to call them up to the drop shot. So that's what's been working for us. And we're gonna keep using that for the rest of the evening here and see if I can catch more white fish here. It's been really slow. <laughs> so definitely if you wanna learn how to catch the white fish here up in the Sturgeon Bay area in Green Bay area here in Wisconsin, definitely check out my brother's video. I'll put the link on the description above here or description down below and you can check it out. Um, he has some awesome content on how to catch uh, white fish here and um, it's very effective. So definitely check his channel out, check out his videos. Wow, we finally caught one after a long, long wait, man. It's like uh, one o'clock right now and I finally got one on the drop shot. So show you here, such a cool fish right on the drop shot. Cool, it's nice. Not big, but definitely worth it. <laughs> yep, here goes your uh, Wisconsin white fish. So this is my second one for the day. Sweet, I definitely love white fishing. Uh, some days it's a grind. I rather have days like this where uh, you catch one fish here and there every hour or so um, compared to like you know back to back within a couple hours even though I'm not catching my limit quick enough it's nice to have the challenge so I love it I love when you know it's it's a slow bite like this and once you get hooked on one you know it gets really fun and exciting so I love it so let's continue and see if we catch more we just want to make sure whenever I'm fishing um, David recommends uh, four pound monofilament so that way it will give you more forgiveness when it comes to hook setting about a foot off the jig here uh, to the drop shot and I just simply tie a polymer knot and then kind of put my tail my tag in back into the eye down to the to the jig and tie the jig that way but um, so that way my shank you know stays upward like that so simply a drop shot rig they like this action Fish on, fish on. Oh, 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 it's a giant. This is a giant. This is a giant. This is a giant. This is a giant. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, giant. Oh, oh. Yeah. This is a giant. The biggest one of the day. Yes. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Biggest one of the day. Oh, wow. There you are. Welcome back. Biggest fish of the day for me, guys. Off the wax one, guys. What a fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Man, shout out to David, man. He's he's out outside, um, hole hopping around while I'm in here, and the bite is definitely turned on. And this guy came straight up and smacked it. I saw him the flasher, and he came and took that uh, the wax one. So, incredible. Man, I love white fish fishing they're so much fun well if you haven't tried white fish before um, they're actually one of my favorite fish to eat during the uh, winter time uh, they don't have that fishy smell and so uh, they, they kind of remind me of like uh, like a like a tilapia you know like softer meat uh, very white and sweet so the way I like to simply cook these white fish is just cut them into section and and add your herbs your cilantro your your uh, Vietnamese bagel uh, basil uh, green onions and uh, your spice lemongrass and ginger and just turn into a soup and it's it's very it's a very light delightful dish and um, um, it's really really refreshing and very tasty so definitely recommend it if you've never tried it before uh, I know there's many other ways but this is definitely one of my favorites so um, they're a uh, very good uh, fish tasting fish to eat all right guys, the best part about this whole trip is putting everything away, right John? Oh yeah. So much fun. <laughs> but overall, we had a good outing. We caught 10, we lost a few, yeah. lost a bunch actually, and um, we have more to come. So. Why don't we don't get a sequel? Nah, nah, nah. Saying always come and ride with me. This one's not like a present, go and fly with me. You and me, there ain't no limit, pass the sky with me. Say and rise with me, fly with me. Your brother, no bucket, no problem. Put my people in the hard life, long life. They gon' always be the hard lot of my life. Everything I do is all for them. What a day. Even though it's a grind, we 
Got 10 fish total, so that, that was pretty good. Definitely check out Dave's video. Uh, check out his channel. He's been doing awesome work again. So please check out his channel. Just want to give a big thank you, a big shout out to uh, Wild Urbans and Adventures and Get to Taku up in Middle So definitely check them out too. I'll put their link down in the description below and check out their stuff. They're uh, great guys and just very humble to get this opportunity. So I will see you guys on the next adventure. Yeah!